Making $100,000 renting out your home to billionaires is great, but you wanna know something even better? Doing it completely tax-free? In today's video, I'm gonna explain how some families in a small city in the South are able to rent out their homes for enormous sums of money and pay zero taxes on the entire income. Here's a hint. It's all due to a very special sporting event. And the best part, you can use the same strategies too to make tax-free income every single year. This is one of those videos that you're definitely not gonna wanna miss. So without further ado, let's dive in. The Masters. Every year, the population of one small city in Georgia doubles in size as it plays host to one of the biggest golf events in the world. For all of you golf players and fans out there, you already know what I'm talking about. It's the world famous Masters Golf Tournament in Augusta, Georgia. And this event was established all the way back in 1934. And it is held annually every spring at the Augusta National Golf Club. You see, the Masters is considered to be one of the most prestigious, most competitive, and most important golf tournaments in the entire world. Golfers have to be invited to this tournament and it consistently attracts the top golfers in the world. In fact, many of the best golfers in history, such as Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, Arnold Palmer, have all won the Masters on several occasions. However, Jack Nicklaus has won it the most time so far with six wins. And this year, the Masters was won by 27-year-old Scotty Scheffler. You see, people who win the Masters are considered to be golf royalty, and they receive legendary green jackets when they win. Every aspiring golfer dreams of winning a Masters jacket one day. However, only a few select players do. There are also tens of millions of dollars of prize money at stake every single year for these Masters. So how does the Masters affect the city of Augusta? You see, in addition to attracting the best golfers in the world, the Masters Championship also attracts tens of thousands of golf fans. They attract countless player entourages and employees from many different brands that are sponsoring the event every single year. And in fact, so many people arrive in Augusta, Georgia to attend the Masters that they completely overwhelm the hotels and other traditional lodging facilities. So as a result, many people who live in Augusta rent out their homes during the event every year. And as you can imagine, with such high demand for housing, prices to rent homes in Augusta during the week of the Masters can skyrocket. A home that might normally rent for a couple of thousands of dollars per week can rent out for tens of thousands of dollars during Masters week. It is not just ordinary golf fans who descend on Augusta in April to attend the Masters. The Masters also attracts billionaires, celebrities, and many of whom also rent out houses in Augusta while they attend the event. One family in Augusta, the Max, are routinely able to rent out their 8,000 square foot house in Augusta for more than $100,000 during the Masters event. To make their home even more attractive for wealthy golf fans, the Max added a guest house, a basketball court, and custom furnishings. Like many families in the area, the Max live in Augusta year round, but when the Masters event arrives in town, they rent out their property. In recent years, the Max even had a billionaire rent the house. So how is this all tax-free? Now that you know that many people who live in Augusta are making a killing renting out their properties, you might be wondering how exactly do they avoid having to pay any taxes on the five or six figure earnings they get for the two weeks surrounding the Masters Tournament. Well, ever since the Masters Tournament was set up in the city of Augusta in the 1930s, people renting out their homes during the Masters Week had become a part of the culture of the city. Originally, the residents had to pay tax on the income they received from the rentals during the Masters Week. However, in the 1970s, a bunch of Augusta residents who regularly rented out their houses got together and came up with an idea. They decided that they would lobby the government for a special exemption to income taxes on rentals during the time that the Masters Tournament was in town. They argued that because there were not operating a traditional real estate business and were only renting out their houses for two weeks or less that they should not have to pay ordinary income taxes like regular rental business owners do. Well, either through the pressure of the lobbying or because the argument they had made sense, the government accepted this idea. And as a result, Section 280A was added to the tax code in the 1970s. And this code section is now commonly referred to as the Augusta Rule. So why is the Augusta Rule so amazing? Under the rules of the Augusta Rule, homeowners are allowed to rent out their homes for up to two weeks per year without having to pay any income taxes on the profits that they generate 
through these rentals. So yes, this applies to everyone who lives in Augusta. However, it doesn't only apply to people who live in Augusta. The Augusta rule applies to all towns and cities in every state in the country. So no matter where you live in the United States, you can use the Augusta rule to generate tax-free income with your home for up to two weeks per year, every year. However, there are some important rules that you need to be aware of for the Augusta rule to work. Let's go over those rules quickly. The 14 day limit. There is a 14 day limit that is fixed. And what this means is, is that you can generate tax-free income, but only up to 14 days. And you have to use a personal residence. So if you're a real estate investor, you can't use the Augusta rule for a property that you don't actually live in that you rent out to tenants. Expenses related to renting out the property are also not deductible. So you won't be able to deduct advertising costs, maintenance costs, or any additional costs. The Augusta rule applies to second homes and vacation homes. You cannot use the Augusta rule if your home is your primary place of business. Some other things to know about the Augusta rule. Now that we've covered the important rules for the Augusta rule, let's talk about some other interesting facts that I would like for you to know. The Augusta rule is not only for houses. It can apply to a wide variety of other structure types. In fact, you can use the Augusta rule for apartments, condos, townhouses, and even yachts and houseboats. Another cool thing about the Augusta rule is that you can actually rent out your home to your business using the Augusta rule if you happen to be a self-employed business owner. Just keep in mind that to use the Augusta rule by renting your home to your business, there must be an actual business purpose that justifies renting of your home to your business that day. The good news is, is that there are many different business purposes that fit the criteria that allow for you to rent your home to your business. This includes business meetings, strategy sessions, masterminds, planning sessions, audio and visual work, and much more. If you do rent out your home to your business, then you will be able to get paid tax-free money from your business. When done correctly, the strategy can be extremely beneficial from a tax perspective. But just keep in mind, you are not allowed to overinflate the price of the rental to save money in taxes. So for example, you cannot charge your business $1 million to rent out your home for a week for a mastermind when the market rate for such a rental would be around $5,000. You see, if the IRS thinks that you're over inflating the price of your Augusta rule rentals, then it can come after you and penalize you and disallow this deduction. So just a word of caution, please don't do that. The bottom line for the Augusta rule is that it's a fun, useful, and creative loophole that is still a part of the United States tax code, thankfully. And the fact that it originated from one of the best golf tournaments in the country makes it even better. I'm a big fan of golf, and if you like golf too, and if you wanna save money in taxes, you can actually book a golf outing with me and my tax advisors by visiting carltondennis.com. Tens of thousands of people in America take advantage of the Augusta rule every single year by renting out their homes for less than two weeks. And if you own a house, then there is no reason why you can't do this too. Maybe your city doesn't have professional golf tournaments every year, but maybe it has concerts or business conferences or art shows. You can make the most out of the Augusta rule by renting out your home when demand is high in your area. There's no income like tax-free income. Just remember that. Okay, that's all I got for today's video, guys. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of the Augusta rule. If you haven't done so already, I highly recommend that you join my new Tax Strategy Accelerator community. It's growing quickly and there's tons of valuable information there. There's also many entrepreneurs and professionals in the community as well. So there are great networking opportunities. Currently, you can sign up for free by clicking on the link below. And when you do so, you'll be able to get access to a number of helpful resources, including some of my eBooks. The link is in the description below if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Cheers.